Fantasy Draft on Madden. Who would have thought? Brand new idea. Wow, so cool. Of course, we're going to be doing a Fantasy Draft with the brand new 2024 rookie class. Now, the thing about this thing is that they're pretty much going to be all normals, which is the main reason why I decided not to do a rebuild instead of just a fantasy draft and then sim to see if we can win a Super Bowl with that team in year one. But if you guys did want to see a rebuild with this, throw in likes, throw in likes, and I'll, you know, do the rebuild the very next day whenever that's hit. If that's hit today somehow, hey, boom, tomorrow. That'll be the, that'll be the rebuild. That'll be all, that's all, folks. <laughs> but, of course, this uh, roster was made by It's Vic, who also has a YouTube channel. Check it out. Does rebuilds and, uh, Put some effort into this class. Like I said, I actually enjoy this class quite a bit, so I'm going to keep using it unless you guys say, hey, stop it. You you, you do something else. Uh, and I almost just forgot, again, I had to redo this twice because I'm a bit of a dumb. You can have the league password all you want and the league name. But I keep forgetting that they decided that the draft order, where the hell even is it, should be standard. No. Like, every draft format ever is Snake. That should be how it always starts. Stop wasting my time. Either way, let's get into this thing and see what kind of team we can get. Of course, with all those guys being normal dev, I'm not really sure the plan I have for, uh, you know, going with the draft. Because if I go with the rookies, I don't want to change their devs. Because it would be really cheese for me to go, like, 10 straight rookies, normal dev, and then change them to the dev we think they're going to be, right? Like, we could probably get Brock Bowers round 8. But he should be at least a superstar, maybe X-Factor for next Madden. So it'd feel kind of cheese. I also don't want to only go with, uh, you know, rookies. So we'll see what happens there. But first things first, we are pick 14. And I'm just going to play this how I normally would. I'm not even going to look at my, like, how to draft a perfect fantasy draft uh, guide team. Because ultimately, I don't know how to with this, uh, this roster. Because there's a bunch of rookie names, obviously. Okay, I kind of know who I want number one overall uh, for our pick, at least. Obviously, we don't know number one overall is in general. CD Lamb's great, too. I really do like uh, receivers, but I think you got to go with a pass rusher. And it's between Miles Garrett, who's, I mean, getting up there in age, I guess, 27 years old, or Max Crosby, who I think is 26. So, obviously, with there being one age of difference, I mean, especially since I've gone with uh, Max Crosby so much this year in these fantasy draft guides and just fantasy draft rebuilds in general. I'm going to go with Miles Garrett as our first pick overall. And uh, I'm kind of curious to see if any of the rookies go. Like I said, maybe the, the, the quarterbacks. Because, you know, once again, they're on normal. You know, normal dev typically makes you fall down the list quite a bit. But yeah, I don't expect any of those quarterbacks to go just yet. So... Yeah, none of them are gone yet. Maybe round three or four. I would like a rookie quarterback because, I mean, if you're not drafting the first ten picks, you pretty much have to wait on QB anyways. Uh, Jordan Love, what is, what's his dev? Normal dev. Be interesting to see when Jordan Love goes because, obviously, he's normal dev. So, you know, Caleb Williams uh, is also normal dev. Hopefully, they don't go, like, the exact same kind of time. The moment I see Jordan Love go, I think, is the moment I take QB. Uh, but in round two... We can, I think, still go with, like, a DT, which I like to go defense quite a bit in these. But I also want to see the wide receiver options, which are usually pretty bad already by this point. You have Devontae uh, Smith. You have uh, DK Metcalf. Some names. You obviously want to go running back early-ish, too, because it's a really hard position to develop. Uh, we have either DT or wide receiver are our two options, in my opinion. And I think wide receiver is just a little bit harder to draft and develop. Not that we're actually going to be drafting, but uh, yeah, just a little bit. And I think Devontae Smith, who I believe is a uh, superstar, I think we've already just looked, is going to be my choice. 24 years old, release is a little low, but why not? Kind of on the, the underweight size, if you will, it's 170. Uh, Reek Woolen? Can you not put Ty Tariq Woolen? I have no idea. Is that his new name? I guess it's Reek Woolen now. Okay, I've learned something. Kind of like uh, when Shaquille Leonard changed his name. What was his name? And that's the crazy thing. I can't remember his name before Shaquille. Oh, yeah, Darius Leonard. That's the name. Don't wear it out. Quarterback, Jordan Love's still there. He is. Uh, I would hope that means Caleb Williams will be there for a little while. What about Quennan? Damn. Do you have Wilkins? Do you have Jonathan Allen even? He's not that old. Vita Vea is a 90 overall. I think he's more of an, uh, a name now, though, right? They have bumped him a little bit, but yeah, he's not as good as he once was. Uh, Derek Brown, Matabike, could go with another wide receiver even. 
What about running back? How far are we dropping here? Josh Jacobs, man. He is so good in sim. I'm not saying this as a Packers fan. Like, I, I really actually am not the most optimistic about him uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, he kind of got outperformed at, at, on the same team. Obviously, some injury concerns there and quarterbacking is terrible, but you know, he did get outplayed. So uh, I do worry a little bit there. But uh, cornerback, maybe the pure value. Yeah, the pure value of Deron Bland. It's round three, which is really... Not that deep, but Deron Bland's good. He's just there because he's a normal dev. So I'm going to go with Deron Bland. Uh, you know, Woolen already went like a round ago. So I think that's fair. Uh, Josh Jacobs is still there. What about quarterback? All right. So I, I said it. I said as soon as, uh, you know, maybe the normal dev, he would have stayed a little longer. As soon as Jordan Love's gone, I'm taking Caleb Williams, especially since we're doing a Bears re, uh, not rebuild, but fantasy draft. So Caleb Williams is going to be the first of our rookies. And running back's kind of a mid... I want to say there's a mid-class, but it definitely wasn't like you could see one of them going in the first round type uh, running back classes. So I'm not going to go running back, I don't think, for rookie. I'm going to try to get someone that's proven. Olave's still there. Kyle Pitts is still there. Maybe I do want to look at my uh, How to Draft a Perfect Fantasy Draft Guide. Because there's, uh, there's a lot of players here that I would not have expected to still be here at this point. Milano joke is pretty good. Doesn't really, you know, I don't really need that. Kind of want to go DT. Kyle Hamilton's great too. Uh, Jonathan Allen is still really good. I know he's 28, but superstar X Factor. I'm going Jonathan Allen. Make this D line insane. Marvin Harrison Jr. also shoots up the list a little bit. Maybe if I don't go too crazy on the rookies, maybe I will change their devs, but I don't know. I really don't know. Um, do you go Bijan or do you go like. You know, Isaiah Pacheco has been really good in sim lately. Could be scheme related though. And unfortunately, Kyle Pitts is gone, but you could just go like David and Joku since we're only doing a one year type thing, anyways. And even then, 27 years old is fine for a guy that developed. You know what? Screw it. I am going to go Marvin. This is, I mean, I get he would have probably been gone by round four, but I think at round six, that's fine to bump his dev. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I don't care. If Andre Campbell goes that high, that's crazy for his age. Like, that is actually insane. You know what? I'm actually just going to go Travis Etienne now. I think he is a little bit better of a player overall than Pacheco. And, you know, Etienne might just not develop as well because he's on the Jag scheme rather than the Chiefs. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. In the eighth round now, I don't really know if there was anyone, like, I wanted to go more than anyone else. Uh, I did see that Brian Branch just went there. Joke also went. Yeah, kind of keeping an eye on some of these players. This Sam Laporta goes, uh, actually, we could go Bowers. When does Bowers go? He might even already be gone. What's his overall in this class? 80? So, I mean, if Laporta's there, I'm going to argue that Brock Bowers can be a superstar because we're taking a guy that's even slightly less than uh, Laporte. All right, so Sam Cosme goes, like, around right now, and the pure value there is there, so we're going to take him. And then if Cisco's there next round, I will grab him, I think, the safety uh, safety there with Poyer, but, uh, Quay Walker was supposed to go this round, and he kind of went around early, so that was unfortunate, but Cisco, I think, is going to be our choice. There might be some other players I'm forgetting about. I was going to go Jordan Davis or Jalen Carter, but, uh, kind of want to go with, like, Byron Murphy or something. Add a, add a youthful rookie in there if we can. Oh, that's who I'll go with, Joe Alt. Once again, superstar dev probably would have went at least, like, round nine-ish. Gotta say, Makai Becton usually lasts pretty long, and he's superstar dev, but, uh, Joe Alt's a bit younger, so... I'm going to still argue that because it's early enough and there's names like Charles Cross there still that will allow the superstar devage. Connor Williams is always a great value player too. Any other players? I don't really like a Zach Tom. Could go Zach Tom. We're going to go Latu. I was going to go with uh, Dallas Turner, but he's not there. So Latu, we're going to at least give him star. Could argue superstar, whatever you want to argue, but I am going to give him star dev, I think. And now I'm just kind of choosing whoever the hell I want. We're going to go with the speed. Quinyon Mitchell, of course. There's some other really good players there, but I'm going to go Mitchell. Put him at star dev as well. I mean, at this point, I'm basically just drafting whoever the hell I want. Yeah, I mean, Mekhi Becton's still there. I get he's not as good as Alt, and he's younger. Or, uh, you know, Alt's younger, but still, superstar development trade, 24-year-old lineman. Still there around 14. I don't feel bad. And now I'm going to go Cooper DeGene. I'm going to put him at safety, I think. The safety. 89 speed, though, for Cooper. And there we go. Byron Murphy's going to finish out at E2s. Let's take a look at those ratings. 78 power moves, 76 block shot. Going to make him star dev as well, I think. And then Connor Williams, the pure value. He, I mean, he's just like, for an 82 overall, he's great. He's great. We have three linemen that are solid. 
would like to finish out the lineman, but we'll see what happens there. And then as a Packers fan, I kind of have to. Edrin Cooper is going to be our first pick. I might go all rookie linebackers, too. I almost forgot about Graham Barton. Got to put him somewhere on the interior. We need one more lineman. Let's be honest, with the youth we have, we have absolutely not built a Super Bowl winning team. There is way too much youth here. You know what? Trenton Simpson might actually just win based on like just being Trenton Simpson. I mean, he's really talented in game. Jackson, Powers, Johnson, star dev incoming. Offensive line's complete. Let's go for some linebackers. I lied. Xavier Worthy is going to be the slot. Boom. We've got our wide receiver group. Junior Colson, I suppose, is going to be our final linebacker. Give me a speed back for the speed back behind the speed back. Jalen Wright. And once again, because I'm a Packers fan, Javon Bollard, I don't care, dude. And this isn't because I'm a Packers fan. This is because Luke Musgrave is just that busting in game. I mean, he's insane. I'm going to grab Michael Hall, and then I'm going to pretty much just finish the draft in behind the scenes. Most of the players are grabbing her in the 70 to 75 overall range, so there's not really any starters being selected outside of, you know, maybe like a kicker or a punter. At this point, since it's only a one-year thing, I'm going to go for the very best. Justin Tucker, 33 years old, so obviously in a normal rebuild setting, you don't really want to go with him because he regresses pretty hard early on, but in this one-year realm, I don't really care. And then AJ Cole automatically is just the guy you want to choose. 27-year-old superstar, which is always worth it. Here we go. Let's take a look at that overall. We didn't obviously go completely youth. I did uh, boost some of the devs. Thought, you know, I mean, I've been making Bowers and X-Factor in, like, all of the rebuilds, but I think, you know, we we took him a little late for him to be a, an X-Factor. Superstar is already kind of pushing it. Offensive line's got a couple of decent devs in there. I'm not really sure what determines whether a guy, like, is it just Superstar automatically reveals the dev? Uh, no, because then he is Star Dev. I don't even know what decides, like, what... If a rookie gets his dev revealed right away or not. Worthy didn't put him at star because I don't think he will be. Uh, and then we, of course, have Latu at star. Dejean at star. You know, Quignan at, uh, at star. 83 overall, though. Uh, I'd imagine the highest average is probably like 84. As you can see, the Titans are right here. But we have the sliders on about 150 for a normal kind of sim uh, status. Uh, so 84, 85. A couple of 85s in there. Actually, a few 85s. Really hoping we get some dev ups, or not dev ups, but XP early, which we should because we're a pretty young team uh, if we want to keep up with the rest of these teams because we are, you know, one of the lower overall teams, but we have one of the highest, if not the very highest, upsides. All right, we're in re signings, uh, 112 mil. I'm not sure if we could even afford everyone because, once again, a lot of these players weren't projected to be uh, Superstar Plus. So uh, having to pay them as Superstar Pluses already is not the best news. Uh, 84 mil, Cooper DeGene, that, okay, so you get contracts like that, that's gonna save you big time. On the fence, yeah, I would be too, with the kind of low ball we just gave you. Uh, everyone else is basically backups, though, so, yeah, we just get Cooper and we're, we're chilling. I think win of this game might have the NFC div the conference, and it was us. 14-3. and three. Did run the Chiefs offense, Buffalo defense, but still, you have to win the games anyways. You still have to win the games that are in front of, I mean, we lost to the Cardinals. If that doesn't tell you something, I get it. It's a fantasy draft, but their scheme never does anything. Looking at the quarterbacks, Caleb Williams in the top three for yards. Could even be MVP. ETN was great. Devontae Smith was really great. Brock Bowers was solid. Xavier Worthy and, uh, you know, was pretty good. And then Harrison, not the best. Blocking, what were the sacks like? Uh, Cosby was pretty good. Alt was not. Uh, Miles Garrett at 17 and a half sacks, and everyone else was basically useless. Five picks for Bland should get him a dev up. Uh, some pretty good tackles for a loss in there. Cooper with 133 tackles himself. Tucker missed 3 out of 19. And then Cole with 51 yards per punt. MVP goes to Trevor Lawrence. Caleb Williams is actually number 3 with Drake May at number 2. And then we look at any awards. You got Defensive Player of the Year. And Best D-Line and Best DB. Not bad. And also on top of it, that bye week in the playoffs. Which is obviously amazing head on to the divisional round going to the end of the game against these giants we have them by four overalls be really disappointing to lose the very first playoff game we actually play i know we had the bye week but 14 all the giants aren't going anywhere i don't know who their team is consisting of but that scheme usually isn't the best but here they are about to win this game i mean you gotta wake up come on the team wants to punt and we're they're all over this I mean, this place sucks. Let's be real. 
Brock Bowers. What is that throw? What is that windup? He's ass. Bro, that is like the worst windup I've ever seen. And it's all over. We lose to the Giants. Super deserving, huh? It is Joe Burrow, in fairness. Caleb Williams was horrible. Our run game was nothing. Who's their D-line that they're they're cooking like this? Kayvon Thibodeau. Raquan Davis? Brian Burns, ironically enough. How? How did they actually draft the Giants' edge, though? Like, that's, that's kind of crazy. That's the how I'm talking about, obviously. But yeah, pretty uh, lackluster loss there, I gotta say. I mean, sure, I guess. I mean, we're higher overall with a better scheme, better team, better everything, but... If you say so. Giants versus the Browns in the Super Bowl. Who is the winner? Who is the winner? And the winner is the Giants. I mean, I guess we just played against a team that was destined to win it all. Uh, of course, this team would be able to stick it out for another season. Caleb Williams ends up as an 85 overall. Uh, very high morale, but not very high release time. I'll tell you that. My death throw power went through the roof, by the way. Uh, Devontae Smith ended up as an X Factor, of course. Release is not good. Most of the younger uh, receivers that you try to develop just aren't very good at release, and they never get their release up because their style isn't physical, and release is really rare unless it's a physical archetype. Uh, Marvin Harrison might have went up a speed there, actually. ETN, the 91 overall. Let's take a look. Brock Bowers also got to an X-Factor in the end anyways. Uh, very fast, obviously, from ETN. Uh, Joe Alt goes up six overalls. Dev matters a lot, believe it or not. Can't believe he's that good at pass blocking and yet just sucks at actually not allowing sacks, apparently. Uh, unless it's just the long processing speed or time of Caleb. Uh, very good route running already from Brock Bauer. He's really good at catching. He is a problem already. Taking a look at the defensive side of the ball. I don't really care about the linebackers too much. Cooper DeGene only went up a slight few overalls, actually. Uh, better man than zone. Just going hybrid, I imagine. Got a speed upgrade in there, I believe. Quinion Mitchell, the 90 or the, the 80 overall, in any ways. Uh, you know, decent. He's developing. Then we look over at uh, Bland, who went to start Ev, which is clutch. And then I guess we'll look at Latu, and I don't even really think we want to look at Murphy because he didn't really go up much. Latu, the 85, uh, uh, pass rushing, uh, uh, pass rusher, I guess. And then Byron Murphy, what overall? He started like 74, 75. Block shed went up a little bit, but yeah, pretty mid upgrading there. Offense had the most significant of the upgrades by far, but that's basically it. Didn't really, uh, you know, win the Super Bowl. Had a really good season, and then just sucked in the playoffs. The playoffs just so. When we win Super Bowls, it really is just like, how do we win so many Super Bowls? When you have Sims like that, that just it's just the way it is. The Vikings three and fourteen, one of the unluckiest Sim teams in the game. Speaking of, but that's basically it. Like I said, if you guys want to see an actual rebuild of, uh, you know, this draft class where I would not change the devs. I would just play it how it lies. Uh, let me know in the comment section below which team we should be and by getting 300 likes, I suppose. Don't know what the plan is for today, but it should at least be another video today. Maybe three total on the day. I'm not sure. And then some sort of rebuild tomorrow. Maybe even this rebuild with the, the rookie class. I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see